My name is Samah Al Tantawi. I am a postdoctoral fellow in the Trajan Transportation Systems Group and the supervision of Professor Tahir Abdul Hai. My research interest is in traffic control or in general uh, artificial uh, the applications of artificial intelligence in transportation and particularly intelligent transportation systems. As you probably know, the traffic congestion is everywhere because population is steadily increasing everywhere in worldwide. Of course, it affects badly the environment, the society, the economic. The solution that we developed, uh, which is an adaptive traffic signal control system, you can think about it as a brain of the traffic light that can allows the traffic lights at the intersections to self-learn how to control the intersection or uh, respond to the fluctuations in traffic by changing the timings of the, the traffic light and also self-learn how to collaborate with the neighboring uh, intersection in order to minimize the travel time and the delay at each intersection. The system that we have developed for adaptive traffic signal control system, we call it MARLIN. It stands for Multi-Agent Reinforcement Learning for Integrated Network. It's actually based on artificial intelligence method called reinforcement learning and also game theory concepts. Because if you can uh, think about the intersections, each intersection is affected by what's happening upstream and also it affects what's happening downstream. So that's why they should coordinate together in a game theory setup. We have developed the software that should override the control logic in the traffic controller that's already in the cabinet in each intersection now. So this is an example of the traffic controller that's uh, in more than a thousand intersection in Toronto. Uh, and we connected, uh, have the integration now between Marlin software and the controller. And uh, this as a, a step before going to field testing. So for example here, uh, be because of the high queue length that on the left turn in that phase, so Marlin decided to extend that phase, that green for that direction. So with iterations, uh, the agent uh, will le this, uh, learn how to uh, take the optimal action at each state. So this learning, most of the time, it can be done in simulation environment first before going to the field. And then uh, we can put this pin now in the traffic lights in the field and can either continue learning in the field if any new situation happens, or it can just uh, exploit what is already learned. As I mentioned, because of its nature of that moving uh, learning target problem, because each intersection affects the other uh, intersection. So in this, in Marlin, we, each agent or each intersection plays a game with each one of the adjacent intersection in its neighborhood. So they exchange the actions that, because it can work in both independent mode where each intersection just use the reward which can be the saving and the delay or coordinating with each other in the integrated mode. There are two sides that can benefit from Marlin. Uh, one side is the customers who, uh, who are the urban traffic management of, uh, departments or the municipalities and cities where they can benefit from the lower capital costs that Marlin provides compared to the centralized systems that require strong communications that are expensive and also lower operation costs due to the nature of self-learning that Marlin uses. It doesn't need uh, the same communications that centralized system use, such as SCOOT. SCOOT is the one that's implemented in most of the intersections that are using adaptive traffic signal control uh, approach. And on the other side, uh, the travelers or the end uh, users, the Marlin, based on the simulation results that we have uh, got so far, uh, Marlin helped reduce the delay for the travelers by 40% and the travel time by about 25%. This is the average travel time uh, during the peak AM hour and uh, every five minutes. So 
the green uh, is for Marlin and uh, yeah the blue one is for the base case scenario while the existing with the existing conditions the existing traffic signal control methods and it's not only minimizing the traffic time but also the variability as I mentioned. I'm really eager to see this research implemented uh, in uh, different cities like one of them is Toronto of course because uh, I experience this traffic congestion in daily basis in Toronto so I wish we can have this uh, system implemented in Toronto and also different cities right now we have different discussions with different municipalities and there is very strong uh, potential to and opportunities to, to have it implemented very soon in uh, some municipalities and especially because we are partnering with traffic controller company that is a uh, a US company that's going to help us commercializing uh, Marlin. So, hopefully, we can see it in the streets soon.